creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. My dear friends, thank you for joining us in this novena to St. Francis of Assisi. We pray together with Francis as we seek the will of our Father, walking in the footsteps of Francis to praise, bless, and glorify our Father who has created us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of our hearts and give us true faith, certain hope, and perfect charity, sense and knowledge, Lord, that we may carry out your holy and true command. Now we'll hear about one aspect from the life of St. Francis and how others are following in his footsteps. Thank you for joining our novena to St. Francis of Assisi. My name is Claudia McIver. At St. Mary, Our Lady of Grace, I coordinate faith formation and our refugee outreach ministry. St. Francis was born in Assisi in 1181 into a devout Catholic family. His mother baptized him John. His father was a cloth merchant who often traveled to France and renamed him Francesco. Francis wanted to become a knight but he was captured and imprisoned during his first battle. Francis prayed to know God's plan for his life. One day while praying in a small abandoned church, he heard the voice of the Lord telling him to go and rebuild my house, which is falling into ruins. He gathered stones to physically repair the church, but over time he realized that the Lord was actually calling him to spiritually rebuild the church. His call was to imitate Christ, going from gospel to life and life to gospel. St. Francis has inspired people throughout the ages. The Franciscan family includes priests, the Sisters of St. Clair, the secular Franciscans, who are men, women, single and married, who follow in the footsteps of St. Francis. St. Mary, Our Lady of Grace, is administered by the Franciscan Friars, the Third Order Regular of St. Francis, also known as T.O.R. United in our belief in Jesus Christ and his call to love and service, we dedicate ourselves to live his word through the celebration of the sacraments, evangelization, catechesis, and ministry to the people of St. Petersburg. So what is God calling you to do? How can you help rebuild the church today? 
Francis's work arose out of his prayer life and his relationship with God. You can strengthen and renew your prayer life. You can share the good news about Jesus and how he has made a positive difference in your life, sharing God's message of love, mercy, and salvation with anyone at any time. And you can strive to live a simpler life that relies more on God's providence than on material goods. A life that is less focused on material stuff is more likely to be focused on God. Can you give away the extra stuff in your closet, your refrigerator, your home, or your bank account? If you need suggestions, our parish bulletin lists many parish ministries that need your help. Pray about how you could best help others. Let us pray. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be inspired by the life and witness of our brother Francis to hear God's call in our own lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may offer ourselves as living stones to build up the church of the 20th, 21st century, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be open to the grace of poverty and see that sharing our wealth with others is an act of justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray the prayer for imitating Francis. Lord God, you helped our seraphic father, Francis, reflect the image of Christ through a life of poverty and humility. May we follow in the footsteps of Francis of Assisi by imitating his joyful love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, most holy, our Creator, our Redeemer and Savior, our Comforter, who art in heaven, in the angels and the saints, giving them light to know you, since you, O Lord, are light, setting them afire to love you, since you, O Lord, are love, abiding in them and filling them for their bliss, since you, O Lord, are the sovereign good, the eternal good, from which everything good has its being and without which there is nothing good. Hallowed be thy name. May we grow in our knowledge of you, that we may appreciate the width of your favors and the length of your promises to us, as well as the utter height of your majesty and the depth of your judgments. Your kingdom come, so that you may rule in us through your grace, and have us reach your kingdom, where the sight of you is clear, love of you is perfect, association with you is full of bliss, and enjoyment of you is eternal. Your will be done on earth as in heaven so that we may love you with all our heart by always keeping you in mind, with all our soul by always longing for you, with all our mind by directing all our attentions to you and seeking your glory in everything, and with all our strength by exerting all our forces and faculties of soul and body in your loving service and in nothing else so that we may love our neighbor as ourselves by getting them all so far as we can to love you, by being as glad at the good fortune of others as at our own, while feeling for their misfortune and giving no offense to anybody. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we will remember, understand, and respect the love he bore for us and all he said and did and endured for us. And forgive us our trespasses. In your unutterable mercy, in virtue of the suffering of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the merits and intercession of the Blessed Virgin and all your elect. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and what we do not fully forgive, do you, O Lord, make us forgive fully, so that for your sake we may truly love our enemies and devotedly intercede with you for them, giving nobody evil in return for evil and trying to be helpful toward everybody in your name. And lead us not into temptation, neither hidden nor apparent, neither sudden nor persistent, but deliver us from evil, past, present, and future, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May he show his face to us and have mercy on us. May he turn his countenance toward us and give us peace. Amen. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel. Let me bring hope where there is darkness, only light, and where there's sadness, ever joy. Oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to. Of your peace, it is in pardoning.